can you tell us about the nine-year-old girl? At this moment in time, we're respecting the wishes of the family and those who are investigating at this moment in time by not releasing her details. Obviously, as and when we can, we will do, but our priority at the moment really is on supporting the family, supporting those who knew her, and trying to identify the offender from this and bringing them to justice. And that's why we're appealing for members of the public who do have information or who might have been in the area at the time to report, quoting the incident number, or directly through Crime Stoppers if they don't feel able to do that to the police directly. And you said there have been two arrests made. Can you tell us any more about those arrests? As you can appreciate, it's a live, ongoing investigation. And for the integrity of the investigation, there's only so much that I can tell people. But what I can offer is the reassurance that we're putting our very best detectives on this, that we have a number of local neighbourhood officers out speaking to members of the community. And we do have dedicated resources focusing all of their efforts on bringing the offender to justice. Have they been arrested on suspicion of murder? What can you tell us about any charges that you might be able to bring? So at this moment in time, it would be too early to speculate on what charges may or may not be brought. What I would say is that we're absolutely committed to finding those people who are responsible and holding them to account. Are you confident you've ha- you, you have found the people involved or are there more people? Because obviously people in Boston are, are scared. They're worried that there's someone out there with a knife who's gone around stabbing people. And we'd like to offer reassurance to the people in, in Boston that actually this is an incredibly safe community within Lincolnshire. Um, it is an area where we have a lot of people who really are focusing their time on trying to reduce crime. Um, we know that there have been some incidents in the past where sadly this might um, mean that the community are more concerned about what has happened and I can only sympathise with that really and empathise with the impact that that must be having on people and with the family as well themselves. Thanks Jess, I'm sorry I have to move it along. Okay, next please.